want to cultivate that prophetic spirit, if we want to navigate the prophetic swirl, we must give him the preeminence. It's not enough just to sing about it. It's not enough just to say we give you the glory. We give you the preeminence. We put you first place. It's not enough to say, Jesus, you're beautiful. We have to believe it. We have to worship him in spirit and in truth. We have to pursue that intimacy. And as soon as you do, you can know this, that the Okarasi, the glory of God. When you do, you're going to know that the enemy is going to resist you with everything in him because he doesn't want you to tap in because he knows once you get one touch, once you get one taste, once you taste and see just how good he is, he will be over. He will be finished. He will not be able to touch you the same way he did. He won't be able to mess with your mind the same way he used to. Once you taste and see the goodness of the God and the land of the living, everything will change. Everything will be different. Everything will get better. So he fights you. He fights you for going into the prayer closet. He fights you when you try to get into worship. He fights you when you want to read the word. He fights you. He works with distractions. He works with hindrances. He works with all kinds of things to keep you out of his heart. It's time for us to return to our first love. He's our only one. 